Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed Bug Bible, Bible Gang. Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue And if you like the song we sang You're in the Bed Bug Bible Gang Gang, ding, 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 ding And if you liked that, then you're sure to love this The, the Parable, Parable of, of the, the Sower Oh, goody! I love to sew I also like needlepoint and macrame No, not that kind of sewing this sowing means planting seeds. Well, why didn't you say so? I did say so. A sower sowed some seeds one day. That means the seeds were thrown. They scattered almost everywhere to places they'd been sown. I'm a little confused. He's planting seeds, silly. Some of the seeds the sower threw fell right along the road. The birds flew down and ate those seeds. Superbly done, they crowed. Those poor little seeds. Wait till you see what happens next. Some seeds fell on the rocky ground. At first, it seemed quite fun. But they did not have healthy roots. They fizzled in the sun. Phew, that's hot! Some seeds fell in among the thorns. They grew a day or two. But thorns can poke and stick and choke. The seedlings soon were through. Those poor seeds, they aren't growing anywhere. Wait, there are more seeds over here. The seed that fell on healthy soil grew taller right away. It grew to be as tall as you and taller still each day. Hooray for the seed! But what does it all mean? Just listen and Jesus will tell us. A seed that falls along the road ignores the Lord above. That seed won't listen to God. A seed that falls in rocky soil forgets about God's love. Without God's love, you can't grow. A seed that falls among the thorns has better things to do. What could be better than God? A good seed listens close to God. What kind of seed are you? I'm a good seed! I'm a good seed! That's funny! You look like a beetle to me! Whoever listens to God is a good seed. That was a super seed story! And it reminds me of a super seed song! Maybe you would like to sing it along with me! The farmer sows the seed, the farmer sows the seed. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the farmer sows the seed. The seed hears the word, the seed hears the word. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the seed hears the word. The word helps it grow, the word helps it grow. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the word helps it grow. We all grow for God, we all grow for God. Hi ho, the seed will grow, we all grow for God. Sing with us! The farmer sows the seed, the farmer sows the seed. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the farmer sows the seed. The seed hears the word, the seed hears the word. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the seed hears the word. The word helps it grow, the word helps it grow. Hi ho, the seed will grow, the word helps it grow. We all grow for God, we all grow for God. Hi ho, the seed will grow, we all grow for God. Wow, that was great.
Great job! I want to sing it again! You can sing the seed song anytime you like! I like to sing while I sew! Look at these mixed up pictures! Can you help me match up each pair from the parable of the sower? We can start with this silly sower right here. Where is his match? That's right! The other sower is right here. Now point to the match for this big black bird. Good job! Do you see a match for this sunshiny sun? You got it! Just a few more to go. Try to find the match for this thistly thorn. You're on a roll! Where is the match for this happy plant? Be careful, this one's tricky. That's it! You found all the matches! Way to go! That was super, gang. I couldn't have done it without you. And if you thought that was fun, then you're sure to love this. The story of the helpful son. Does this story have a funny farmer buzzer? It sure does, Sparky. Then let's get moving! People came from far and wide just to stand at Jesus' side. Jesus told them stories, too. That's what Jesus liked to do. I love to hear Jesus' stories. Me, too. Here's a story, Jesus said, about a farmer name of Fred. Jesus said to everyone, Farmer Fred had two young sons. Howdy, boy! Farmer Fred looked all around at his fields and at the ground. There was work that must be done. Farmer Fred will ask his sons. There's a lot to do. We're gonna need help. When the oldest son came out, Farmer Fred gave him a shout. Will you work today, my lad? But that boy said, sorry, Dad. What did he say? He doesn't want to work. When he saw the second boy, Farmer Fred called out, ahoy. Will you go and work today? That young son said, hey, okay. That's more like it. Later on, the older son felt ashamed for what he'd done. Though he told his father, no, to the field we see him go. He changed his mind. It's the right thing to do. But the younger son, who'd said that he'd work for Farmer Fred, did not go to work that day. Here we see him rest and play. His dad needs his help. But he's just sitting around. Jesus said, my story's through. Now I have a quiz for you. Which one was the faithful son? Brother two or brother one? Hmm, let me see. I know, I know! All the folks who heard the tale knew the answer without fail. Brother one obeyed his dad. He must be the faithful lad. Good old brother one. Jesus said, you're right, you see. That's how God wants you to be. Faithful people all day through in what you say and what you do. That was a great story. I'll always do what Jesus says I should. Thank you, Jesus. That story was super, and I always want to be helpful, just like the helpful brother. Now you can help me play a really great game. One of these pictures from the helpful brother story is different from all the others. Can you help me find which picture is different? We can start with this picture of Farmer Fred. Which picture is different? You got it! In this picture, the farmer is wearing a silly suit. How about this picture of a barn? Which one is different? That's right, that barn is blue. Now, look at this picture of brother number one. Can you tell which is different? That's it! That brother is happy to work. 
Just one left. Which of these pictures of Jesus is different? <laughs> right! This picture shows Jesus waving hello. Hey, you found all the matches! Way to go! That was a fun game! Thanks for all your help! Helping out is what I do best! Then you can help me get ready for our next story while the Bedbug Bandoliers sing a song! Yippee! Do -do -do. And now, I'm proud to present the Bedbug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, Betty Bedbug! Little Betty Bedbug was just a little girl. She got a bright blue rocket ship, the best toy in the world. And Betty made her mind up that very afternoon. I'm going to be an astronaut and fly up to the moon. Oh, little Betty Bedbug, please close your weary eyes. But little Betty Bedbug keeps on looking to the skies. Or oh, even little Bedbugs can dream of bigger things. Like flying in a rocket ship with bright blue painted wings. When little Betty Bedbug went out to play that week, she found a plastic pirate ship out floating in the creek. And Betty made her mind up, she knew what she would do. I'm going to be a pirate and sail the ocean blue. Oh, little Betty Bedbug, dear, won't you rest your head? But little Betty Bedbug is off sailing in her bed. For even little bedbugs can dare to dream a while of finding buried treasure on a warm, deserted isle. When little Betty Bedbug was watching the TV, she saw a hero on a horse as wild as he could be. And Betty made her mind up, although it may seem strange, I'm going to be a cowgirl out on the open range. Oh, little Betty Bedbug, dear, won't you go to sleep? But little Betty Bedbug's out rustling cows and sheep. Or even little Bedbug's all dream that they will grow and ride a bucking bronco in the Bedbug Rodeo. If you dream that dream, then the dream that you dream is the dream that you dream to dream. Bedbug was sitting in her class. She saw the flashing flicker of a fire truck as it passed. And Betty made her mind up. Those lights left her inspired. I'm going to be a firefighter fighting flaming fires. Oh, little Betty Bedbug, are you listening at all? But little Betty Bedbug just hears the siren call. For even little Bedbugs can daydream as they will of sliding down the firehouse pole and other thrilling thrills. When little Betty Bedbug was walking home that day, she heard the calls of boys and girls inviting her to play. So Betty made her mind up to go and play a while. It's fun to dream those dreams, but funner still to be a child. Oh, little Betty Bedbug is happy to be free, to be the girl who'll be the woman she'll grow up to be. God made her who she is, and that's how God made all of you. And so good night, dear children, and may all your dreams come true. Thank you, Bedbug Bandoliers. It gave us just enough time to get organized for one more super poem about another very funny farmer. Right, Sparky? Sparky, I asked if I'm right. Nope, you're not, Buzzer. I'm not right? No, Buzzer. I'm right, and you're slightly to the left. <laughs> I guess you are right, Sparky. So without further ado, the Bed Bug Bible Gang is happy to bring you Farmer Brown Goes to Town. This here is the tale of Farmer Brown, who owned the biggest farm in town. It was a vineyard, big and wide, that had a lot of grapes inside. Said Farmer Brown, this farm is fun. But there's some work that must get done. I need some help to help me out, because that's what helping's all about. I love to help. Then you'll love this story. 
He went to town at 9 a.m. to hire some women and some men. He needed helpful people who knew how to pick a grape or two. Have you picked grapes before? Yup, I picked a whole bunch. These people heard the farmer say, I'll pay you 20 bucks a day if you will go out right away and pick some grapes for me today. Sounds like a deal. The people went, and gladly too. They all had nothing else to do. But then, when noontime came around, old Farmer Brown went back to town. Why is Farmer Brown going to town? He needs more help. He found more people waiting there, who said they'd gladly do their share. Go to my farm, they heard him say. I'll pay you if you work today. There's always more to do. He went again at two and four, and found more people than before. Although the time was getting late, he sent them all to gather grapes. It's almost the end of the day. But there's more work to get done. At five o'clock, the day was through. He called the folks who'd worked since two, and those who came at four o'clock. He paid each person 20 bucks. Wow, he paid them $20. That'll buy a lot of candy. In fact, no matter when they came, the farmer paid them all the same. Some workers yelled and wore a frown. That is not fair, old Farmer Brown. They've been working all day. That's what they said they do. But Farmer Brown just shook his head. I paid you all just as I said. I'm glad you all could work for me. I pay each worker equally. Farmer Brown is very kind. And very fair, too. Now, did you know that God calls you to do his work in all you do? Each worker is welcomed by the Lord. God gives us each a great reward. I love to work for Jesus. Jesus loves us all the same. He paid the way to paradise. I hope you liked our story. It's one of the bedbugs' favorites. The bedbugs love to hear the good news that Jesus loves us all the same. Even the littlest ones, Buzzer? <laughs> Even the littlest. Wow! Jesus loves me, the littlest of all. You've just about got it, Sparky. Now you can sing a song about the fair farmer. We'll help you learn it! I've been working in the vineyard all the live long day. The vineyard just to earn a little pay. I could hear the farmer calling, rise up so early in the morn. I've been working in the vineyard since the break of dawn. I've been working in the vineyard only half a day. I've been working in the vineyard, I was needed right away. I could hear the farmer calling, rise up and be working soon. I've been working in the vineyard since the clock struck noon. I've been working in the vineyard for an hour or two. I've been working in the vineyard, now the working day is through. I could hear the farmer calling, rise up so you can get your pay. Though I only worked an hour, he paid for a day. Working in the vineyard all our whole lives through. We are working in the vineyard just as Jesus wants us to. Can't you see that he is smiling? He is so happy that we came. Aren't you glad that Jesus loves us each and all the same? Everyone sing along. I've been working in the vineyard all the live long day. In the vineyard just to earn a little pay. I can hear the farmer calling, rise up so early in the morn. I've been working in the vineyard since the break of dawn. I've been working in the vineyard only half a day. I've been working in the vineyard, I was needed right away. I can hear the farmer calling. In the vineyard for an hour or two. I've been working in the vineyard, now the working day is through. I can hear the farmer calling, rise up so you can get your pay. Though I only worked an hour, he paid for a day. We are working 
in the vineyard all our whole lives through. We are working in the vineyard just as Jesus wants us to. Can't you see that he is smiling? He is so happy that we came. Aren't you glad that Jesus loves us? Each and all the same. Good job, everyone. <laughs>